They haven't played here, of course, since they lost 6-0 at home to Arsenal. They were 3-0 down to two restarts and a penalty. So Brentford, I'm sure, will have prepared with that line of attack very much in mind. Paquita to Bowen, who can play wide, of course, as well as through the middle. And has really turned himself into an outstanding Premier League player in by Sofal. Oh, well, it came very quickly to Socek. Here's Wood Prowse, who was the player who flicked it on to Socek. Oh, it's put away in impressive style by Jared Bowen. That's just what David Moyes would have wanted. The early goal to get inroads against the struggling team quickly, but also to lift the support that he knows has been shortchanged recently. Perfect. Less than five minutes, one up. Intense pressure from the get-go from the home side. An emphatic finish from Jared Bowen. Again, the pressing from West Ham is there for all to see. Brentford looking for a cheap foul in that initial instance. After that, really composed, inventive play from West Ham. It's a quick manoeuvring of the feet, isn't it, for Jared Bowen as it flips up onto his left foot. And then uh, continued to play for the Humberside Club and no one really wanted to buy him, take a chance on him. But West Ham did and... They've turned him into something very special. He's turned himself into something very special. Yeah, looks very at home, doesn't he, at the top level. Really nice and assuming young footballer. Absolutely right what you say, Martin. Hall City set the world alight. Now he's doing the same in the Prem for West Ham. Here's Goodis, who wanted to get it onto his left foot. Now he for so foul. And Bowen's done it again. Great start for West Ham. But it's just the way it's been going for Brentford. The visiting players have a little inquest, hanging their heads as the celebration go on in front of the cameras. Not so much for a manager who would never take anything for granted. Well, Zuma's having to play as the left-sided centre-half, which is not his normal game. The likes of Aga and Agbona, Agbona not involved. And here is Mope, and they've got one back. Well, that's the kind of response that's kept Brentford in the business the last couple of seasons. And Mope, who likes this ground from his Brighton days, has done it for Brentford here at a very important time. The frustration for David Moyes is when you are in a purple patch in a game, do not make it easy for the opposition to score. Yes, it's good play from Brentford, but my word, is it too, too easy? Oh, he's done well. The back of Jensen. And it's skied by Paquita. The argument, of course, from the referee authorities is you have to start refereeing when you're 12 or 13 years old and you don't have a football career. I'm not sure that stands up. Here's standing up across for Emerson. Ooh, for Paquita, rather. That was better than the first one. A bit more of his bread and butter, this one, isn't it? Allowing it to come all the way across the 18-yard box. Seen it very early indeed. Able to set his sights. Regulon. Cut out by Mavropanos. Oh, was taken out by Norgard. The referee right there. Let's play go on. It might be a great decision from Simon Hooper. Because Kudus lets fly. Drops for Kudus, who makes a bit of space for himself. Got players either side, but that's in his nature. Another goal now, give them some insurance. And towards uh, Zuma by the near post, that's Emerson. Brentford trying to break out, Tony has to wait for it. And then Naomi nudges it back towards the packet and here's Emerson. Won a few things in his career, Emerson, the Champions League with Chelsea and a non-playing sub. He was with Italy when they won the, the Euros at England's expense. Kudos. Bowen! 
history for Jared Bowen. After 16 career doubles, he's got a treble. And at a very important time for West Ham United. And the players know what it means to the scorer personally, but they also recognise what he's done for them. <laughs> it smiles all round, isn't it? Three in the centre. Oh, and that looked as though it squeezed past Ario, though it did, but outside the post. There's a real gameness to Mope because, tell you what, Nolan's not a shrinking violet, nor is he a tiny fella. And here is Ward Prowse. West Ham looking to seal the deal here. To this. Not by Regulon. Ward Prowse available again. Good cross by Kudus. It comes out to Emerson. Shoot is the cry. Shoot, he does! A sensational shot. And there's no coming back for Brentford now. West Ham four, Brentford one. And the crowd played their part. It's a decent effort once again down the right-hand side by Kudos and his feet, his ability to put the ball into the box, but when you do see a player take a touch and shape up, the cynic in you says, go on then, if you can score from there, fair play. This one is absolutely exceptional. We've been in for a treat tonight. We wondered what we were going to get at the London Stadium. I'll be honest, it's near and on a classic, isn't it? Goals, a hat-trick. His second ever Premier League goal. Those footers gone to the left now. And, uh, Kudus on the side of the foot. Uh, Jared Bones just cramped up a little bit, a bit slow to get himself up again. And here's uh, Wisser, who will have a go, and what a go! That's Brentford for you. They never pack it in. <laughs> and he can't believe it, he wants to nail it down at 4-1. It's the glare, isn't it, from David Moyes, because he knows as is always the case this season, so many goals. In by Zanka. Alvarez didn't clear it. A bit lucky. Socek found Ward Prowse. Antonio Auxiliary left back in these circumstances. Alvarez. Kudus. Collins hesitated. Kudus didn't. But, uh, he's not so good on his right side. Position to defend. And in the Premier League, going into seven minutes, yeah, two goals could happen. But now we're into less than three. And I think the mood will change from concern to celebration. Not long now. Rusliff. Oh, there's a slip into Tony, and there's Lewis Potter and Collins. Collins again. Lewis Potter again there. Tony going in. Oh, it's kept out. Rusliff going in. Well, Ariola stopped a very nervous last couple of minutes. Ivan Tony is as close as he's come to scoring, David. It's a superb save when his goalie was needed. He managed to stand up, or ironically, down to his left-hand side and pull it outside. Reckon hoists it up. Collins tries to get there. Johnson is going to get the last touch of the game, I think. And there is the relief of the final whistle. 
Well, it wasn't perfect for David Moyes, but it was much, much, much better. They scored to start with, not one, not two, not three, but four. Three of them to Jared Bowen, a special night in his career, and an absolute rocket from Emerson. But there were lapses that allowed Neil Mopé to score and the substitute, Jan Wisser to score. Other chances near the end, Ariola made a couple of late saves when he was uh, probably thinking that there wasn't going to be too much more danger. At Brentford are still in serious trouble. It's been a bad day for them. They've seen Everton gain four points and they've conceded four goals. And they leave the London Stadium empty-handed. But West Ham are back on some sort of track. They're up a couple of places in the table. The match ball is going to the Bowen home and it's West Ham 4, Brentford 2.